Good morning, church family. My name is Rosemary Soto, and I am so glad to be here doing the Heart to Home Devo with you. But before we begin, let's open up in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you, Lord, for your unconditional, never-ending, everlasting love, Father God. Um, you love us so much, Lord, and uh, we are so grateful and thankful for that love, Lord. And so we just ask, Lord, that um, these next few minutes would be a blessing to you as we dedicate this time to you and reflecting on you and getting to know you and your heart for us a little bit more, Lord. Pray, Lord, that uh, you would be here with us, that you would give us uh, uh, clear minds and uh, settled hearts that we may focus on you during this time. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. So, you know, lately I have found myself being a little more quiet and waiting on the Lord in certain situations um, in my in my day-to-day -day life. Um, like when I have to make a decision on something, you know, or if I need or if I need to respond to something or someone. Um, and it seems like it's especially um, more so in this time and day that we are in where everyone is um, so about speaking their minds and their hearts and, you know, just saying whatever they feel. Um, and especially as our world moves further and further away from the Lord and doing things God's way. It seems like we as Christians are being faced to, um, with some pretty tough choices that we have to make that just don't affect us here and now, but that will affect us um, far into our futures. And I have to admit that I wish I had applied um, this verse to my life and walk with God from the very beginning to help me to be able to learn to uh, wait on the Lord. And that is um, Psalm 139, 23, and 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties and see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. In everything that I do, and I'm sure the same is with you, um, I want to bring honor and glory to God. But before I can do that, I have to make sure that my heart is in the right place. This verse helps me to know and understand that no one, not even me, knows um, me better than God does. God knows all of us better than we know ourselves. He knows our good, our bad, and our ugly. He not only knows our thoughts before we think them, he also knows where they come from. Simply put, God is your best friend. And who better than to turn to than your best friend when you can't even comprehend or begin to understand something? I have made way too many mistakes going on my own understanding and my past experiences. And this verse helps me to recognize that I will never have total and complete self-knowledge, but that God does. And I need him to search my heart because like the Bible says, the heart is deceitful above all things and who can know it? So many times I have asked myself, why did I do that? Or I have said, I don't know why I did that. Sometimes that is the absolute truth. We don't know why and sometimes we may use that as a cover up because the true motive is so unspeakable or so embarrassing, we just don't want to admit it. It is a humbling experience to admit that my heart is wicked 
and that I need God and his mercy and understanding to help me to keep it in check so that I can bring him honor and glory in everything that I do and everything that I say and everything that I think. And it is important to me to not only do or say or think things that bring God honor and glory, um, but I have failed more times than I would like to admit. And in those times I have expressed, you know, or experienced being mad at myself for those, those moments, um, being embarrassed, and being so sorrowful to the point of depression. But, you know, even though God knows us so well, um, like I said, he knows the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, despite all of our shortcomings, it is beyond our understanding. But he still loves us so much. He loves you so much. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, we do ask, Lord, that you you search our hearts, Lord, that you reveal those things um, that we do, that we say, or that we think um, that are not pleasing to you, Lord, that as we align our hearts with those things that are pleasing to you, that, that as we um, continually meditate and think on those things, that our actions and our thoughts um, and the things that we say will bring you honor and glory and that we would um, be led as that scripture says also in the way of the everlasting closer and closer to you not just um, spiritually but as every day passes as every day draws closer and as we get through every day we are one day one step closer to being with you and that is our goal father so we pray lord that you would be with us today tomorrow and in everything that we say and we do we love you lord in jesus precious name amen <music>